Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming and today's video is all about how to do chipping effects. So if you ever are painting a tank or a model, like a space marine perhaps, and you want its armor to look a little bit like the paint got chipped, but not because you smashed your model on the floor, but because this model has been tearing through the, uh, the wastelands of the battlefield and, and just is button up against cement walls and, and, and just the paint is just chipping off this guy. A little bit war-torn, a little bit battle-worn, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and not just because he's some crazy Nurgle dude, right? Um, but because, you know, it's just the paint, little pretty paint got chipped off his armor. And uh, that's this video is for you. So um, the 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 the, uh, the secret with this video is it's going to be quick, easy, um, but just a touch above just dabbing sponges on, just a touch above. But uh, I'll show you some my secrets to do this quick and easy paint chipping effects. Let's jump on the table and take a look. Okay, so here's the model we're going to do our paint chipping on, and this is a Phobos librarian who's. You know, kind of work in progress still. I still got to do his power sword. I still got to finish up his base and stuff. But uh, a lot of stuff's done. And so, you know, I've finished painting the leather, the cloak, um, the armor. You know, I've already painted his face and eyes and stuff like that and some of the little details. And so, yeah, why not? It's a good time. It's a good time to do some, some chipping effect. And so some basic things you're going to need are, you know, maybe a paintbrush, maybe some paint. I'm going to use these three colors, right? So I got my the brown. The brown is what I'm going to do on my chips in. Um, and then I'm going to come in and re-highlight here. Uh, and then what last thing you're going to need is just some uh, case foam. This is the magic sauce right here for doing quick and easy paint chipping and all your stuff. So these are just bits that I've plucked out of my cases that I just keep lying around for um, special occasions like right now when I'm paint chipping some guys and uh and so I actually take some scissors um for step number one okay we're officially gonna do it step number one okay and this is like a small small little you know I don't know one centimeter by one centimeter square and I'm just gonna uh cut it okay so that the idea here is to try and make a nice point at the end of it okay um, so I'm just going to slim this up a little bit because the model is fairly tiny. And uh, the reason you use foam like this is because if we can get in real close, okay. And actually, let me get a darker background here. Okay, you can see all of the little, uh, all of the little grains, right? And so these, these little, little bits that just kind of hang off the end here. You can see like all the, the rough patterning here. All that is going to pick up paint and, uh, and give us a really, really cool and pretty authentic looking chipping effect pretty simply. Okay, so there you go. So we got our, we got our sponge. We've got it prepped. So you saw that? Just cut it with the scissors, get a nice point on there. Okay, we've got our model. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with brown. It's a nice dark color um, for doing on top of both my Luna Wolf white and my librarian um, blue tone, okay? Uh, so yes, yeah, so let's get some of that out. So we'll just shake that up off camera. Okay, I got my little palette. Don't tell anyone my secret, aluminum foil. Okay, and we'll just get a little bit of this paint out right here. Okay, um, for me, I find I don't mix in water to it. I like it nice and thick. It really helps with the, um, with the effect and application. Okay, so now, um, and get it nice and thick on there and then I'm, I'm going to dab it off okay until so you can see right here it's going on pretty thick still um, but towards towards the end after a couple dabs it starts to thin out and start to look like a really cool like chipping pattern right um, so there you go so I think I'm ready okay so this is this is about the uh, the effect you want to have on your on your palette before you start okay so you see that Perfect chipping right there. Okay, the lighting on that is probably horrible. My apologies, but there you go. There's you've seen the palette, you've seen how to prepare it. Okay, now let's get it on the model. 
Okay, so I got this. I'm going to start off on his feet. You always want to do more around the bottom and, and on the feet because that's where, you know, the most uh, damage will get done. Okay, cool. Slow and steady wins the race. You want to be methodical with this. That was maybe a little bit too big. It's killing some of the gradient of the blue. Okay, so I'm just going to get on there, wipe that off, have another go around at it. Okay. Get a little bit more paint on my sponge here. Dab, dab, dab it. I'll show you guys as I do. Dab, dab, dab it off. Okay. Just get a little, little chip on that ankle again. That back heel. Okay, I'll start coming up the leg a little bit. Maybe on the edge of this piece. Get on this black knee pad, of course. Oh. Sorry. Keep it on camera for you guys. Okay, get a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is tack this shoulder pad a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Okay, get that edge of the shoulder pad slightly. Get the edge of his psychic hood. Okay, I'd love to get these elbows right here. So, um, and as you're going, just always imagine where would the armor be chipping, right? So elbows, high point of contact, rubbing up against, as he like leans against walls for cover, stuff like that. Knees as he ducks down, you know. Um, edges of armor plates definitely is, is where it would happen a lot, okay? Um, now this is, this is best shown on like big tanks or something like that. But uh, you get the idea too here on this infantry character. Um, and it's good to see something that's like so easy to do on tanks that actually applies on a, on a smaller surface like this. And so, yeah, starting to look not bad, eh? So we'll just get our focus in there. So you see some of those paint chips. Beautiful. Get a couple more on his... Uh, his backpack over here and this back elbow. Okay, get a couple chips in there. Okay. Nice. All right. So I'm pretty happy with pretty happy with that. Got some of the elbows over here, looking good. Great, so that's, that's yeah, that's decent. We don't wanna to be too weathered up. I mean, he is a character, right? Um, and so he'll, he'll take decent care of his armor, but we got enough chips to, uh, to have some fun with here. And so what we're gonna do now to really make these guys pop is we're just gonna highlight these chips a little bit to show the edges of them um, as they glint and catch light, much like we highlight the, the do the extreme highlighting on the edges of the armor here to make that pop as they catch some light. And so let's go ahead and do that. And so I'm gonna set up for that and be right back. Okay, we are ready. So I have my paint on my palette, my blue and my white. And, uh, and we're also gonna have to do some highlighting on the black as well, but that we'll do separately. Now, so the idea here is to catch um, the, the sponging that we did catch some of the edges of it so that it looks like um, it looks like you know the the light is glinting off of it so we'll just mix these two together get my kind of lighter lighter white color okay and uh, yeah make sure my tips nice and good get some of that okay so now we're gonna come in okay and we are going to highlight edges, some of the chips right here. We're going to kind of do it on one of the sides. Okay. So let's say we'll pick like, we'll aim to try and get the bottom edge of each one. Oops. Okay. 
There you go. All right, so that's starting to pop just a little bit. Let's work around. This will be a really good one under this knee here. There's lots of uh, nice defined brown little specks. So perfect, perfect area for a little bit of blue highlight to just glint off those little specks. Same thing right underneath the knee. All right. Now you got to sell it because you got to do it on every single one. Let's get it on this toe piece here, on the boot. All right, you can see it's starting to give a lot of definition to those pieces right there. All right, we'll get this elbow. Oh, a little bit more water. All right. All right, we're really getting the idea that this is a little bit war-torn, not too much, still functional. It's a little bit shiny, but definitely he ain't in perfect condition. This guy is a warrior. He gets out there and he fights. He doesn't just read the books all day. He's a different kind of librarian, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, those are some good ones up top there. I like that. Brilliant. Just get a little bit more water here. Catch this elbow. Oh, we got some down here too. Okay. Catch the elbow just a bit. All right, and now down here on this uh, this foot. Sweet, digging that. Again, bottom edges. Oops. All right, looking pretty good, digging that. All right, yeah, really adding some definition. Now, for some of the larger highlights, I'm just gonna take like a straight white and, uh, and just dip that on it just a tiny bit. Let's see if we can't really sell this here. You can see, just take an extra couple seconds. It's a big effect on it, right? You see that really coming to life. Boom. Some serious paint chips. Real definition. Oh, yeah. So when I'm doing my pure white here, also same idea. We'll just catch, we'll just catch the areas in this, uh, on this beige armor. Okay. Again, we're just looking... Same idea as you did on the blue, right? Really sell that chipping effect. It's a little more subtle on the white, but that's fine. Because the blue is going to do most of the work for us on this. Uh, yeah. A little bit too fat. Probably a very savage way to fix mistakes and just wipe it with my finger. <laughs> it's alright though, you know, you still got to have a little bit of speed, right? And efficiency. All right, very cool. So there you go. You see, we're starting to really sell that chipping effect. Just get a couple more extreme highlights on this bottom edge heel. Oh, 
going straight to the white. Yeah, it's working for me. Brighten up the regular highlights right next to it as well. If they weren't quite bright enough. Awesome. And now in just a few seconds, we've got a really sweet looking chipped armor effect all over this dude. Oh, I need to get a shoulder right here. And then we'll just get the black bits real quick too. Okay. All right. Cool. For black, I do a different kind of, uh, of workout for the highlight. Okay. I just go through, um, a little bit of turquoise actually oh man Where is that there you go so what I do is I take uh, take some black and mix in a little uh, so tech green both g-dub colors okay mix in a little bit of that and that brightens it up all on its own um, but to go a little bit further okay with the highlight I just add a little bit of bone color so any kind of like light 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 beige um, and that gives you like a more charcoal -y, uh charcoal -y black highlight um, charcoal -y gray so, so especially with the that little bit of blue from the turquoise you get this nice charcoal uh, charcoal highlight with the bone and then you got a very unique looking fun black color go just mix in a tiny bit more of that bone just get a real extreme really sell it all right so there we go all over nice little chips there you go there is some quick and dirty there are of course very pro advanced ways to do this uh, but you can see for our purposes you know pretty good not bad if I do say so myself all right again you could do some real advanced some real real advanced stuff but I'm all about speed and, uh, and so yeah you can get some stuff done pretty quick that way a little bit of paint chipping Awesome. So I think that's it for this video, guys. Let's uh, wrap this up. So there you have it, folks. I hope you liked that video, how to do paint chipping effects on your models. Um, I like that we did it on a small little infantry guy instead of a big tank, because you got to really see how to be intentional and, and much more careful about your placement for the chips, um, which is a good thing, right? And so, um, so go ahead, have a try, leave your comments on how you do, maybe uh, post your pictures of your stuff that you've done um, with paint chipping on our Facebook page. That would be really sweet. We'd love to see your progress. And, uh, and yeah, ask, ask away. Um, guys, if you like that video and you want to support what we do here, jump down there, hit subscribe, hit the little bell if you want to know when future tutorials come out as well. And uh, you can also jump down to our Patreon. So if you like what we're doing here, making battle reports and terrain tutorials and painting tutorials and the whole nine, our Patreon is where you can do that for as little as a dollar a video. You can support everything we do here at Encounter Wargaming. So guys, plenty of other ways to support too. You can buy a t-shirt and link down below as well. And uh, yeah, just like it, share it with your friends. And there you go, guys. That's it for today. We will see you at our next encounter. I'm like a monkey in a rocket arm